party needs some tequila. Yes. <laughs> okay, woo! <laughs> so. So. We're both naked. Yes, we are. I'll see you on the other side. Listen, Ted, it looks like things are going in the direction where we're going to be having sex in front of each other, so I need to prepare you for a couple things. Um, actually, it's a pretty big apartment. There seem to be a lot of rooms, so I don't think I'll necessarily... I'll be making lots of animal noises. <laughs> I may have her call me names. I may call her names. There may be some very, very heavy breathing, and if not, um, choking. Oh, yeah, I really wish they'd come back with that tequila. Ted they always tell you the good qualities first, but then they leave out their huge flaw. To wit, she's super hot and she's so successful, but she has a penis. She's totally hot and really fun. But remember that story I told you about the golden retriever and the peanut butter? That was her. And I am now going to tell you my safe word. <laughs> Banana. Unless, of course, we're using an actual banana, in which case, then my safe word will be plantain. She's so cute, and she's so smart. But she's got every STD on record. Seriously, she's a high school science project. She tried to go to Cancun for spring break. Mexico wouldn't let her in. And she has a penis. Okay. If I'm using both a banana and a plantain, whoa, 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 my whoa, safe What do I need to know your safe word for? I'm, I'm not going to be doing anything with you. Ah. I'm not wearing a suit. Lesson two, get a suit. Suits are cool. Exhibit A. Lesson three, don't even think about getting married till you're 30. Lesson four, ditch these two losers. And lesson five, be totally silent for the next five minutes. That's another thing I want to talk to you about. There might be some poses that she is not able to get into without help. The, the wheelbarrow, the, the flying wombat, All right. the, uh, the muddy werewolf. Please stop. Ooh, what about the story of how we met Barney? I already told that. Actually, Barney, that wasn't the first time you met us. What? Lesson four, ditch these two losers. No. If I need to call upon you, keep in mind, always lift with your legs. Tequila. Oh, 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 those doors we saw, they lead to other rooms, right? Yeah. Oh, thank God. That was a tall woman and a little guy with a mustache. Oh, wait, that was you guys. We got a sneaky. Not yet. But soon. <laughs> oh, sex architect, you've done it again. Let's go celebrate on the couch. Oh, oh never mind. Ted Mosby porn star said he left this here. Do you mind if I run this to the dishwasher? Guess who I ran into? Moripovich. No, a girl from my past. Any guesses? Stella. Zoe. Karen? The girl who beat you up. The girl who ruined a photo with Slash. The girl who made you get the butterfly tattoo? Oh, you make it sound like I dated a series of Steve Larson novels. <laughs> well, at least every morning when I would wake up, there'd be a delicious plate of bacon waiting for me. That was a low blow. Uh, what's the deal with bacon, guys? Because high cholesterol runs in my family, my mother always told me I was allergic to bacon. Then one day in college, I accidentally had bacon bits on a salad, and I went into a total panic. <laughs> The girl who shared a bed with her brother. The girl who did porn. The girl who ran over the hitchhiker. The girl who had crazy eyes. The girl who gave you throw pillows. The girl who gave you the lamp. The girl who gave you 12 mixtapes. The girl I slept with first. The girl who wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not good. I've written you this prescription. Start eating lots of bacon. <laughs> I'm confused. Son, you're not allergic to bacon. Some monster lied to you. You've missed out on eating the most delicious food on the planet for 20 years for no reason. The girl you made out with on St. Patrick's Day. The girl who took your virginity. The girl who was just using you to get back at her ex. The girl who was way too into sci-fi. The girl who I hired to play my wife. The girl who texted too soon. The girl you went on two blind dates with. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now, if you'll just open up and say, ah, 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 ah. The girl who turned out to be a lesbian. The girl whose name you can't remember. The girl who was a militant hippie vegan. The girl you naked man. The girl you had a three-way with. Allegedly. The other girl you had a three-way with. Unconfirmed. Oh my god. So many emotions. Mommy, I mean, what? The girl in the slutty pumpkin costume. The girl who worked the coat check at that club. The girl you thought was a hooker. The girl you thought was your perfect match. The girl you dumped on her birthday. Same girl who beat me up. 
I'm in work in there, Mosby. Oh, thank you, Captain. And, um, as far as we're concerned... You stole one thing from me, Ted. One thing I can forgive. Steal more than one thing. Well, that's another matter. Got it. Thank you. Mm -mm. The girl who kept you on the hook. The girl who worked at the GMB cafeteria. The girl who's always in a relationship. The girl who killed your turtle. Wow, I am impressed with myself. What's with the pineapple? Oh, it's an old sea captain's tradition to put a pineapple on your porch as a symbol of hospitality. I keep one here and one outside my townhouse in the city. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. Why oh, you look so pretty, baby? Thanks, Pete. Are you ready? Three, four, one, two, three. You can take away our lives, but you can't take away our honeymoon! <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. Dead? You all right there, Taylor? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Bye, Captain. <laughs> uh, welcome to our honeymoon. This is our first night in Scotland. <laughs> We're staying at a hotel called the, the, the Grand Highlander. Which, uh, funny enough, has nothing to do with the movie Highlander, <laughs> which I think should be put on their website. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, boys. Lie back, get comfortable, and enjoy the show. Well, as you can see, the rooms are a little small, but it's very authentic. This is just what big rooms in Scotland look like. Right, well, I would venture that the honeymoon suit is probably a little bigger, you know. But... <laughs> I thought you didn't want the honeymoon suite. Well, uh, all I'm saying is for an extra 500 pounds a night, who needs the honeymoon suite? What does that room have that this beautiful little room doesn't have? Well, well a river view, a, a jacuzzi tub, towels. All right. Do not put those on yet. They're for later. You'll know when. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you get to keep these? If you want. Sweet. Okay. Um, start blowing this up. Oh, yeah. Baby, it's our honeymoon. Come on, all we need is this big, beautiful bed. Oh, wow, that hurt. Yeah, the, the mattress is a little firm. We actually voted it the third hardest surface we've ever done it on. Right in between pool table and highway. Interstate 95. Miss you. Thanks, ma'am. With that. Oh, that's just a snack. It's a long show. <laughs> oh, but we're just so excited to be in Scotland. We are going to see the Dunrobin Castle. We're going to Loch Ness. Oh, and we're going to see the Palace of Holyrood. We are going to see Loch Ness. I've done research, and I know where to look for you, sucker. All right, boys. Showtime. Now, do not turn on the smoke machine while I'm on the hippie hop. Yeah, but best of all, when we're in Edinburgh, we have two tickets to see RSC's production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. The Loch Ness Monster is going to swim out of that lake and eat seaweed out of my hand. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> you make it sound like the whole point of our trip to Scotland was to see the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> no, baby, never. This is our honeymoon. The whole point is to enjoy our love and have our first experience together as Mr. and Mrs. Marshall Erickson and Lily Aldrin. Oh, I love you, Marshall. I love you, Nessie. Lily. Uh, thanks for earlier, by the way. What was that about? Oh, I got kind of freaked out. I thought I didn't want to get married. I tried to run off. She was the only thing that came between me and the first bus out of town. Wow, we are really committing to this honesty thing, aren't we? Right so, Mr. Shabazz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, double thanks, I guess. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's day two of our honeymoon, and here we are at Loch Ness. Oh, isn't it beautiful, Marshall? The water's nice and calm today. Okay, now I really need to go. Uh, wait, um, not yet. <sighs> um, when, when I moved to New York, you guys were the the first four friends I made. And in eight years, I haven't needed any more. 
perfect viewing conditions. And we went into town and got this big picnic lunch. Although, Marshall thought we wasted too much time shopping. Oh, I know. We didn't waste time. The important thing is that we're here together, oh. enjoying this vacation. Hmm. Hmm. So I, I wanted to give you all something to thank you. I decided to write you each a poem about our friendship and inscribe it on a piece of sea glass, which you can use as a Christmas tree ornament. Oh. Then I decided that is super lame. Okay. What kind of idiot brings a sailboat to a lock? I mean, Nessie's never gonna surface if they're right on top of her like that. Okay, baby, lunch is served. Oh, wonderful. Now they're swimming. I swear to God, sometimes I wish Nessie was an omnivore. So, instead... Everybody come and play. Throw every last care away. Let's go to the mall oh. today. Oh, speaking of omnivores, your haggis is getting cold. Or is it meant to be cold? What do you think, Marshall? Take your damn sailboat off of the damn lock, idiots! The Rump Springer where I'm an Amish youth given only two weeks to experience the outside world. Amish youth? Amish youth. Lily, just... Okay, just... Okay, just... Okay! You know what else comes from Scotland? Scotch! <laughs> when we were in town, I got this... 25-year-old single malt that uh, Marshall and I could open on our 25th anniversary. <laughs> that was four hours ago. Can't you smoke in here? Oh, Carl. Would you ever tell Neil Armstrong or Albert Einstein or the real Jim Nacho they can't smoke a cigar in here? Of course you would, because none of them have ever had a perfect month. The scotch here is very good. Um, it's very fresh. Very, very fresh. I mean, fresh from uh, 1982, but I still find it very fresh. I know, scotch sugar. Carl, I banged 30 girls, one for each of the 30 days in August, and not once did I need to resort to the I only have one day left to live, because that would have cheapened everything. First of all, that's disgusting. Also, there's 31 days in August, genius. Today's the 31st. What? It's a leap year? <laughs> Lily. Lily, there she is. Oh my god, there she is. Where? I, I don't see anything. Oh, she is beautiful. Oh my word. Oh my. Marsh, pull yourself together. Huh? 1146. <laughs> 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 Hello. Uh, Statistics, man. Okay, are you getting this? No. Okay, time. Time is 2.25 p.m. Body length is approximately 13 to 18 meters. <laughs> hey, we should get lunch sometime. I'm my own boss now, so I have plenty of time to... Drag your poor daughter in the city to brag about past career triumphs? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> hey, you like daddy's stories, right? <laughs> How did you and mommy meet? I'll tell you later. Speed seems to be increasing. I don't, I don't see, where? I don't see anything. She's turning towards us. Lily. Lily. Marshall, Lily, I'm she's heading straight for us. Lily, run! Lily, run! Lily, run! You got gored by a bull? I got gored by a bull. <laughs> I was in Spain, and we were shooting this segment on bullfighting. My producer thought it would be super cute if I got into the ring and tried it. No. Spoilers, I got gored by a bull. You got gored <laughs> by got a bull. gored by a bull. Okay, it's day three of our honeymoon. We're supposed to be at historic Dunrobin Castle, but, well, we had a, a very exciting day yesterday. We, we think we might have seen the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> so after that, I decided I'm just gonna do some anchor work at the studio, yeah. stay put a while. I even adopted five new dogs. Five, why is it always five with you? <laughs> One dog's for wimps, that's practically a cat. <laughs> she came from the east, traveling, I'd say 15 knots. She rose her majestic head out from underneath the waves, and she looked at me in my eyes, and then she sunk back down into the depths. And then Marshall freaked out and ran into a tree. So, now that you're in the city full time, we'll see more of you? Yeah. Good. Because it's all just going by so fast. I know. I, I think about that all the time. I mean, when I think about all the memories, I'm only an amateur scientist, okay, Lily? Of course I freaked out. You don't think Alexander Graham Bell freaked out when he discovered the telephone? Bring, bring. Hello? Ah! Come on, Lily. All those nights at McLaren's? I mean, how did we end up here, you know? I am so glad you said that. I, 
I feel that way too. Anyway, Marshall convinced me to stay here in our car another night and uh, we'll see if she resurfaces. As long as we're in Edinburgh by Thursday for a Midsummer Night's Dream, then I'm happy. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my life, got my face on a bus, but does anyone ever get to this age and not wonder what could be different? Lily, there she is. That's, that, oh, it's a log. It's just a log. We're clear. It's fine. That was my mistake. Remember we had that deal? If we're both still single when we're 40? I guess I should wish that I made that deal with someone else. But I don't. You were my best friend, Ted. You were more than that, and I miss you. Okay, it's day six. One extra night in Loch Ness has turned into almost a week of camping beside an empty lake. It's not a lake, it's a loch. Don't test me right now. Uh and I've been feeling crazy for thinking about it, but now that I know that you feel the same way too, I don't feel crazy anymore. I meant, how did we end up here at this restaurant instead of McLaren's? Um, baby, do you have any, any more bread? You used up that whole thing? I'm, I'm not gonna lure Nessie with a single piece of bread. And there's all these ducks out here. Some ducks came by and ate it. I'm sorry, that's what happened. Can you, can you just run to town and grab some more bread? Wow. <laughs> sorry. No, no, no. It's... You're really happy, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still the overthinkingest person ever. Most overthinking? Biggest overthinker. Well, that is going to keep me up tonight. Why me? Because we both know that you're not trustworthy to keep watch. Last time it was Lily's turn to keep watch, she went into town to go to the bathroom. I can only hold it for so long. Well, that's why I dug the pit. I am not squatting over a pit on my honeymoon next to some empty lake. <laughs> but, uh, I don't spend a lot of time thinking, what if? I guess that's happiness. Not that I'm telling you what happiness is. I'm just saying for me, it's... I'm happy too. I like it's a lock. This is what the past five days have been like. Okay, hey Lily, I know that we have been here longer than we anticipated, but if I leave now, I'm gonna regret it. And that's a regret that's gonna hang on our marriage for the rest of our lives. I am. <laughs> Good, I'm really glad you're happy. Oh, I am so sorry, I gotta pick up the kids. Oh. Just get weird. Oh no, no, no! Go, go, go ahead. I'll take care of this. I, it was really great to see you. Yeah, yeah, you too. <laughs> You're okay, right? Okay, it's day ten. Nessie! This is our last full day here in Scotland. Nessie! We've spent almost our entire honeymoon beside this lake. Don't correct me, Marshall. I swear to God. <sighs> I'm fine. No major problems. Major problems? Babe, listen, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this. We're only four hours from the airport right here, so theoretically, if you want it, we could stay here until like 5.45 tomorrow morning and still have time to make it to the airport. And then we can just keep looking and... Okay, thanks. Singles, please, and take your time. <laughs> sweet, sweet five bucks, you're finally mine. Even though Lily and I share a bank account, so you're already mine to begin with. Okay, you want to see a monster? You want to see a monster? I'll show you a monster. I spent my entire honeymoon camped inside of a Peugeot, watching you go to the bathroom of a hole, eating whatever scraps of food you said weren't good enough for nothing. I want them now. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What? Nothing! Nothing! You're beautiful! I would love the photos. You're beautiful! Haven't I told you you look beautiful? You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, shut up. You are. Or the Scotch serpent or the elegant maiden in the lake or whatever you're calling it this hour. Well, we wasted our tickets to a Midsummer Night's Dream and I'm not wasting our last night here. I'm done! Matter of fact, I'm feeling a little... What do you mean? Oh. Ready? Oh. Here we go. Okay. Oh, God. Lily? Lily? Lil! Lily! 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 Oh. oh, oh, 
back of hernia, back of hernia. I think it's probably both. Oh, no. All right, I'll, I'll just hop on. Oh! Arthritis? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh. Welcome back to day 10 of our honeymoon. This is the honeymoon suite at the McDonald Arms in Edinburgh. I've ordered every item off the room service menu. Marshall and I talked it over, and we decided to stay an extra week in Scotland. Do you remember how easily we used to do this? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, just give me a second to catch my breath. Right. One more second to catch my breath. Okay. Just need another second to catch my breath. Right. Here I go. Yeah. All right. Because you can take away my life, but you can't take away my honeymoon. Okay, I should go because the play is going to start. Start the play. <sighs> and I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Promise me one thing, baby. Yeah. Before your climax, please, please don't say, Here comes the judge! I can't make any promises. Oh. Now, fair Hippolyta, our nuptial hour draws on apace. Four happy days. Bringing... More emotion. Yes, dear. <laughs> Let me pump this up. Uh, uh, Just get this thing going. Not fair, he pumped up. And that's all draws on the pace. Four happy days bringing in another moon. But I, I don't want to do this. What please. Do do? My hands still hurt from making this godforsaken wreath. Just like, give me a break, please. Uh, I'll do it. But uh, look, I don't, I don't even know if I'll like bacon. What do you think? I have seen the face of God.